Hi guys, Floody here, back with another tutorial. Um, so today we're going to be looking at adding a lens flare to your sun. Now, when you look up into the sky on games, you want the sun to look as realistic as possible and adding a lens flare will really help with that. So we'll dive straight into it. Um, this is for beginners. There will be a lot, um, a lot more advanced tutorials on these, but if you just want to simply get a lens flare in and have a little bit of a play around with it, so it suits your needs for your game or environment or whatever you're creating, this will be the video for you. So start off with a blank canvas. If I go up here to this cube with a plus sign on it, press that, I'll type out post process volume. As soon as you start typing, it'll come up. So we drag this into our map. And in here, we can change a lot of our uh, details for our environment here um how it looks and everything so i like this inside your world outliner post process volume find it there and then come to these details here so we'll just collapse a few of these we can see lens flare there. so the lens flare setting is inside your post process volume in the world outliner lens flare click that activated by pressing the intensity and now you can see that nothing happens okay and i'll explain why when you add a post process volume that's the size of your post process volume so anything inside that box sorry when i go inside this box anything that i do inside this post process volume here will activate so in, if i travel inside here you'll see that my lens flare will come there it is and i come outside of it it'll disappear so if you want this post process volume for your entire scene you need to come back to your world outliner type in bounds no it's not bounds wrong and press this button here infinite extent unbound so I press that, and now you'll see that it happens wherever I go on the map. I basically set this post process volume to anywhere within this level, within this project here. So I can come back out of this, and now I can mess around with the settings a little bit. So let me just find you again, so I can change the color of it. I can change the intensity of it. Remember, sometimes subtle differences make a big, big change. And you can just play around with these, activate them all, mess around with the size of those reflections there. I don't really know what that one does. But you get the idea. So it's your, your uh, free to do whatever you want here. Just run away with it, run away with your ideas. And get creative and that's how you add a lens flare thanks guys stick around like i said in previous videos i'm new to youtube i'm new to um fishing out some unreal engine content um so yeah stick around and if you can hear my dog barking in the background i'm really really sorry <laughs> thank you